expert told you that fruit can be unhealthy for you? What if I mention that fruit may be dangerous for your metabolic health? Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a functional medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. So what is fruit? Fruit is really a sweet tasting plant product that we all love and enjoy. So what does fruit contain? Fruit contains vitamins, it contains minerals, it contains phytochemicals, it contains fiber, it contains everything that we can think of that makes us thrive. So why can it be a problem? So let me make this distinction here. Fruit contains a type of sugar called fructose. Just to make a distinction, the white table sugar that we all love and enjoy in our homes, which is called sucrose, is a combination of fructose and glucose. Now, glucose can be utilized by all cells of the body. Fructose, on the other hand, cannot be. So fructose can only be broken down by the liver. So the liver is the only organ in the body that can handle fructose. Now, once fructose is in the liver, it's converted into glucose glucose and is stored as glycogen. Glycogen really means many types of glucose put together. So when we talk about glycogen, it's a, just a chain of glucose. So we take the fructose, convert it to glucose, and once we start putting them in packs, it's stored as glycogen. There's a limit by the liver. The liver has the capacity to store between 60 and 100 grams of glycogen. Now, once it hits this limit, the rest is stored as fat. The liver takes fructose, converts it into sugar, stores it as glycogen, then starts making the rest as fat. Then this fat starts spilling into our bloodstreams. And this leads to a cascade of symptoms and conditions and situations that are unpleasant to the body. It can lead to increased levels of triglycerides and VLDL. These are all inflammatory cholesterol markers that can be a problem. It increases uric acid. In the presence of uric acid, blood pressure goes up, nitric oxide goes down, and that can be the reason why one ha will have high blood pressure or hypertension. That could be the reason why one will have erectile dysfunction. So yes, I'm saying that if you have high uric acid, which can come from fructose, it can affect your blood pressure negatively. It can affect your sexual performance because there will be decreased blood flow to your extremity and your genitals. And because its fructose is also being converted into fat, it causes fatty liver. Keep in mind, the human body, our blood glucose regulation is an interaction between the liver and the pancreas. So once it becomes fatty and it becomes insulin resistant, it's unable to have that communication. So fructose can cause fatty liver. It can even cause fatty pancreas because you are spilling all the fat into the bloodstream. This can also cause glycation and just glycating the cells is a recipe for inflammation and can cause all sorts of issues with our metabolic health so when is it not appropriate for one to do overdo or do um, fructose or fruits for that matter at all and that's when you have a metabolic issue the problem why fruit has become evil is that just about everyone has a metabolic issue yes it's good to enjoy fruit from time to time but in this dispensation the fruit that we have is very hybridized and has five times more sugar than it was years and years ago and for that reason the fruit that we are enjoying now is different from the fruit that we are enjoying thousands and thousands of years ago it's full of sugar and can that alone can be a recipe for disaster let's also keep in mind and don't especially those diabetics because it has fructose most of the time fructose will not manifest as far as your blood sugar is concerned so you can enjoy fructose check your blood sugar into below because it is not directly impact your blood glucose but keep in mind at the back end at the back end of it the fructose would have to be converted into glucose and eventually to glycogen and then the rest is fatty so we have increase in vldl which is the very low density lipoproteins and triglycerides just these two biomarkers can be a problem and that's why we have to understand this um, physiology and biochemistry so that we are not just saying this or trying to demonize food but we also want to appreciate what food is able to do for us in practice not too long ago i had a young lady come to the practice and said she's been just been doing fruit diet and she goes and she's told she's pre-diabetic yes it's absolutely possible because we are overdoing it and that will cause cascade of symptoms to happen so that is why fruit can be a problem so who should not do fruit again the one who is metabolically compromised and that will be diabetic that will be the pre-diabetic that will be the hypertensive that will be the person with a bigger waist size that will be the person with the low hdl that will be the person with high triglycerides and the list goes 
goes on and i always like to mention this despite whatever the recommendations may be let your lab markers be the gauge for you if your triglycerides are higher greater than 75 if your hdl is lower if your fasting glucose is greater than 80 if your a1c is greater than 5.3 we should start paying attention to what we are ingesting at this point fruit may be unhealthy for you if this content resonates please don't forget to like follow share and subscribe so the next time i have a beautiful idea such as this you'll be one of the first to know and if you are also seeking for help in guiding you to get to the next journey of your health we are always a phone call away in our practice we get to the root of the problem we are functional medicine practice where we treat conditions when all else has failed again my name is dr e as affectionately called on another episode i'll catch you later